What's up, fellow collectors? Welcome back to the MIB Master Toy Museum. I'll be your curator today. You guys, hanging out down here on a Thursday. Rainy outside, very dreary outside, cold. But we're nice and warm and dry here in a museum. We have another fun World Peacekeeper is offering for you today from our vehicle section of our museum, guys. The World Peacekeeper's military buggy. This vehicle has so many names. This is more of a generic uh, name for it by World Peacekeeper's. I don't know if there were any licensing issues or anything, but this is a just a nice generic name for it. You get the drift, but it's more of an ATV, all-terrain vehicle that was used in Desert Storm back in the um, early 1990s and, and moving forward, actually. It's a beautiful vehicle. Practical in design, but yet extremely efficient and effective for the type of terrain and environment it has to endure. As I've been tracking this, this vehicle, and if you've seen our, our World Peacekeepers uh, vehicle videos from our military Jeep to our Humvee, you know I've been getting into the World Peacekeepers uh, toy line and I just didn't want to come into the the toy line just with the action figures we wanted to come in with a bang uh, larger than life so I went after all of the vehicle set toy sets I could find that they had that's the goal first and then we're going to start big and then work our way down to the smaller action figures you know just the 12 inch figures but I wanted to get all of the the big vehicle play sets and the regular toy sets out of the way. The big play sets out the way first. That's just the way my mind works, guys. I want more bang for my buck. And this was a vehicle that I knew after I got my Humvee. This was the the, the next one uh, up on the purchase order for me for, for the uh, museum. I want that I wanted this figure. It was a little expensive. It was uh, originally priced at sixty dollars, or maybe sixty-two, sixty-three dollars, something like that. Uh, that's before tax. So I kind of waited, and guys, you know, patience is truly a virtue. It truly is. I um I checked Coswell Collectibles like I do all all the time. This is. From Coswell Collectibles. I've been doing business with Coswell Collectibles. Oh my goodness. For over 30 years now. I'm sorry. Not 30 years. 20 years. Uh, it feels like it's been 30 years. It's been a long time though. Well over 20 years. I can assure you of that. I started with those guys back in the. Maybe the late. Late 1990s. 96, 97. Somewhere around there. But um, they carry the, uh, the World Peacekeepers toy line so I checked their their um, website out like I I normally do on a weekly basis and I saw that this price this um this vehicle set had dropped in price it went from 60 something dollars to like 40 something dollars so it was a no-brainer to me guys I hit the add to cart button immediately and purchased this bad boy Like I said, I like this this vehicle. I have some ATV G.I. Joe vehicles uh, in my museum collection already. So when I saw this, and I always liked this, the ATV. I mean, I've always loved the design of it. This is something I would have loved to have had as a, as a kid. 
I would have begged my parents to buy this for me. I'm beautiful. Just absolutely beautiful. We have a a fun comparison because I brought out my my G.I. Joe Desert Light Strike Vehicle, which is ATV. And this is a Chenawa. You can't see it here. It's right there. Right here on the front of the grill. And it's it's here in the front of this grill too. It's, it's super cool. Yes, this this vehicle, look what I paid for it. That's family toy. Uh that toy store don't even exist anymore. It's a local toy store, I believe. Back in two thousand. So this this came out, this set came out in the year two thousand. Right on the nose, two thousand. Turn of the century. And I got it for $79.99. Just to show you that now you cannot find this for $79.99. If you can find it in this condition, mint in box condition, give me a call. Because <laughs> it's it's expensive now, guys. These things go for hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars now. I've seen them. For as cheap as $200 out of the box and as in the box as expensive as $600. I've s told many collectors this already. It's only worth what somebody is willing to pay for it. I've seen those, the two prices I gave you, I've seen those go for that price, those prices. The wheels on our G.I. Joe Desert Light Strike vehicle, all rubber. Heavy, heavy, durable rubber. And somebody, said, somebody would ask, well, MIB, how do you know this vehicle is like this? Because you've never taken it out and examined it or anything. I have a lot of good collecting buddies that own this particular vehicle. Uh, that was more than happy to share every detail about this vehicle. Real rubber tires. Very detailed in design. Everything about this, you can see it's got the, 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 the speckled paint app on it to give that weathered look. Look at all the weapons. It's got the 50 cal at the top. Missile launchers here on both sides. You got the, you see where the, the bullets pull through. It comes with a nice driver as well. He's got his helmet on, the goggles. This was a cool uh, head sculpt where you could see it. it the face had um, a, a paint app on it where it was dirt, where his goggles were clean, protecting the eyes. I play uh, his eye area, but the rest of the face because he's out in a desert with the um, the conditions out there, the environment. Steering wheel here. Everything got the stick shift on it there. He's got a pistol on the other side. Can't really see it that well. This is a three seater, as you can see. And we'll go over and I'll show you my uh, World Peacekeepers seating adjustments, uh, placements. So you got two seats in the front and one for the back. And this is the back, obviously, is the guy that the soldiers that's going to operate the 50 cal. Nice engine compartment back here. Sorry for the glare, guys. Uh, this is kept under um, plastic tarp. To, but you can see, I want you to see the design. And it has the, the beautiful basket along the sides here, on both sides. Um, just beautiful in design. Extremely, extremely detailed. Heavy, heavily, heavily detailed. And ex and super heavy. You know, it's, it's a chore, guys. I get a good workout moving these things around. I don't handle these 
uh, vehicles too much though. Very rare do I hand, handle them. Um, we have all the videos on them, guys. You can go check out our, our G.I. Joe our vehicle playlist on our channel. We talked about the, the tires on the uh, my G.I. Joe Desert Light Strike vehicle. These are all plastic on the World Peacekeepers. You can see it's got the, the nice little paint app here. But it's $60. And you say, well, it might be this is $79 back in 2000. But in 2001, this is $60. It's, 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 it's a lower grade uh, on a, a lower level made. But we're talking about inflation too, guys. Uh, 20, uh, what, over 20 years later. Maybe 21 years later. Or 20 years later. So inflations went up just a bit. But at that price, this is a fantastic price for this vehicle. Like I said, now uh, my G.I. Joe light strike vehicle, three, four, five hundred dollars Easy. So $60 for this vehicle right now is not bad at all. But the wheels are, uh, are, are plastic. They don't wrap all the way around, as you can see over there. They're hollow inside. But still pretty cool. See, it's locked in really good. Driver's got, it's got some detail to the dashboard. And you see he's got his hands, uh, our, our driver here, uh, beautifully uh, decked out in his uh, camouflage. Got the dog tags on. All of his stuff is here at the top. He has a rocket launcher as well, where you can fix. I, I, I can assume you can fix it at the top of the uh, the roof of the military buggy. Got a shotgun, goggles, binoculars, and there's his helmet. Uh, Everything is neatly placed up there. Cosmo Collectibles did a fantastic job in packing um, this box. Making sure it got to me very, very safely. Where are where are World Peacekeepers military buggies? A little more simplistic in design. It has the only one the, the uh, seat in the front, the driver, but it has the the back passenger seat as well to operate the fifty cal. There you go. Everything's about safety, guys. You can see the seat belts here in the back. Nice tires. I like this box design. You got this beautiful design here, but it blocks out the tire here in the back. It really blocks out the tire. You can't really see, can't really see the tire. I like so I like this wide open. This is a MIB collector's dream because it's display friendly it's everything is wide open <clears throat> excuse me guys and I love those tires though got the the um, copper paint app here Right in this area, the springs. Nice engine. Really beautiful though. Just 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 a beautiful, beautiful set, guys. I'm gonna turn this box around and let you see the back of it. So give me one second, guys. We'll won't give me a half of a second. We'll be right back. And we're back. Here's a great shot of our military buggy with our soldier.
Here's your front view of the grill. This is the figure with, with over 30 points of articulation. What a shotgun there. Collect them all. And that's that's what we have every intention on doing, guys. At in the end pursuit. Uh, we don't have the horse yet. We're working on it. Uh, I'm debating this is probably gonna be my next pickup here. Uh, the lookout tower. It is massive. It is absolutely massive. And I can imagine extremely heavy. And the airborne trooper, the halo. We'll get pick him up as well. The ATV dirt bike. Uh, this is another one that I have on pre-order. They haven't came out yet, but I pre-ordered them. They have a, a, a desert one, and you're looking at the camo one. And here's the big boy of all of them, the Humvee. And it's one of my favorites from this line. I just love the Humvees, guys. Uh, you can check the video out we did on my uh, World Peacekeepers Humvee uh, matched up with my G.I. Joe Humvee armor, armament carrier vehicle. Uh, and that's the extremely popular uh, video. Anybody that loves these, these massive, massive um, vehicles. But this box is beautiful. It's a side shot here. Uh, nothing happening too much at the top. But this is why I... I, I I can't bring myself to destroy these boxes. It's too much history. It's too much happening on the back of these boxes. Guys, uh, stories are being told with your toy packaging. Stories that you may not realize until long after you've discarded of the, the packaging, thrown it away, and you see it sitting in some antique store, mint in box, 20 years later, and the memories will come rushing back. Hey, I had that. I remember that. That's what that's all about. That's what our, our channel is all about. Those type of memories. And that's why, you know, I collect the way I do in the fashion that I collect, mint in box mint on card you know it's all about toy history with me and this is just a huge part of it like i said this box is absolutely gorgeous i like the fact that they use the actual figure as opposed to a a, a artwork drawing or something like that it's the actual figure really the play value will kids want to play with this this is more for a collector now but when I was a kid growing up, if I saw this box looking just like this in a toy store, yes, it's a sale for me. Hopefully it would be for my parents who would actually have to pay for it back then. But hey, guys, that's the cool part about growing up and getting a job. <laughs> we can pay for it ourselves now. So we have the financial firepower now to go out and, and really live all of our childhood dreams. Right. And that's the cool part about it why I'm surrounded with all these beautiful toys. But we're going to get this, this box turned back around because it's a chore, but I'll be back in a half of a second. Okay, guys, we are back. Like I said, just, just a fun, fun vehicle set. And at the price that I got this at, like I say, it was a no, an absolute no-brainer. I just love these vehicles. I'm so happy that uh, Cosmo Collectibles carry this, and that um, World World Peacekeepers are bringing these back out. These are just fun, beautiful vehicle sets, and if you are a GI Joe collector, uh, any type of uh, 12 inch 1 6 scale collector. I highly recommend that you purchase this. And I know some people say, well, well, I, I have this one already. 
Um, I really don't want another one. And that's fine. I, I get it. I understand. Uh, me personally, though, guys, I can't I can't help it. I can't stand to see a beautiful uh, one six scale vehicle set with a beautiful 12 inch action figure in, the, in it as the driver. And I don't have it in my collection. It drives me nuts. Absolutely insane. I just I, I really love these this the basket area here. But just a beautiful set, guys. Like I said, we have more fun on the way. I want to share this with you. I'm gonna have more fantastic world peacekeeper vehicles, vehicle videos for you to add to our collection and show you. Have fun with. Stay tuned for that, guys. More big announcements. Uh, we got some more giveaways coming up, so stay tuned for those announcements as well. If you didn't win the first time, th this is your 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 big chance, guys. Another opportunity. So, you know the routine. God bless. Stay safe. And keep collecting.